Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate attribute clustering introduced in Oracle Database 12.1. Attribute clustering groups specific attributes together so they're in close physical proximity, making the processing of related attributes more efficient. Attribute clustering works on direct path loads and data movement operations, so it's a more natural fit for data warehouses. We create some test tables. A customer's table, a product's table. The sales table is an intersection between customers and products. There's also a quantity associated with the sale entry. We populate the customers table with 100 rows with customer IDs from 1 to 100. We populate the products table with 10 rows with product IDs from 1 to 10. We populate the sales table with 100,000 rows of random data. For each row we pick a random customer ID from 1 to 100, a random product ID from 1 to 10, and a random quantity from 1 to 50. A sample of 10 rows from the sales table shows us the distribution of customer data is random. This is our starting point. We create a table called Sales2 based on our sales table. At this point there are no indexes available on the Sales2 table. We use set auto trace trace stat to hide the rows returned by the query and show us the associated statistics. We return all the records for customer 1 from the sales 2 table. The comment inside the query is just to make sure the query is unique. We can see this requires 1,872 consistent gets. We create an index on the customer ID column of the sales 2 table. We gather stats and check the clustering factor for the index. This gives a value of over 76,000. If we try to pull data back for a specific customer using the index, a high clustering factor means we'll be skipping to different table blocks to retrieve the individual rows. A low clustering factor means the rows for a specific customer are grouped together into a smaller number of table blocks. A high clustering factor will make an index less desirable to the optimizer due to the high number of table blocks that need to be visited. We return all the records for customer 1 from the sales 2 table again. We have a different comment inside the query to make the query unique. We can see this requires a similar number of consistent gets to last time. This is because the optimizer decided not to use the index. This time we force the index using an optimizer hint. We see the consistent gets drop to 872. So how can we make this better? We use the alter table command to add clustering by linear order based on the customer ID column. Drop clustering removes the clustering metadata. We add attribute clustering again, but this time explicitly set the on load and on data movement settings. These are the default settings, so this is functionally the same as the first command. The clustering settings are only metadata. They don't affect our existing data until we rebuild the table. From Oracle 12.2 onward, we can move tables as online operations. A sample of 10 rows shows the data for a single customer is now clustered, rather than spread throughout the table randomly. Checking the clustering factor of the index shows it's dropped from over 76,000 to less than 2,000. This makes the index much more interesting to the optimizer. We return all records for customer 1 from the sales 2 table again. Notice we've not forced the index using a hint. We can see the consistent gets have dropped to 162, an order of magnitude less than the original query. So two things have happened here. The clustering of the customer data has made the clustering factor of the index much lower. This means the optimizer is more likely to use the index. When the index is used, 
the total number of table blocks returned has dropped because the data for an individual customer is grouped into the same group of blocks. The linked article contains more information about the syntax and restrictions, but this should show you how attribute clustering can be a useful performance feature in your data warehouses. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.